today I am on the all new Yaris Cross and we're going to go through the displays as well as what's available in the car for tech and infotainment as well as the driver's display. Foot on the brake, I turn the car on. It's a hybrid system so there is no sound. That's the driving animation by the way. Pretty cool. And then this screen on the left hand side is a 10.1 inch touchscreen and it's pretty receptive has all the features you need apple carplay android auto and this on the right here is my apple carplay connected automatically that's pretty cool like i haven't even done anything so. and this here is your center console your driver's unit your driver's display is about seven inches and the toggle menus are to go through the menus on this are on the left your media controls are on the right you also have a drive button where a short press is for power and then a long press is for eco for like driving modes and then again back to the left because that's how we'll be going about it so in terms of settings uh, you'll use this to toggle trip meter back meter voice command you can change the display brightness i'll just keep it at highest for now and then your time and date settings your designs you can actually change the cluster so it's looking like this right now and then you can actually make it look completely different if this is your preference that's pretty cool because <laughs> you can't do it in all cars let's go back to the original one display settings you have your equal light indicator average fuel reset after refuel trip a or trip b again your trip meter is here we'll go through that in a bit you have ending display type steering angle drive mode guide ev indicator and we're back we also have a average display of how efficient the car is at the moment. It's 1.7 because I'm stuck in the showroom while I review and take video of all of this. You have a clock and you have different dials here basically. So trip time is displayed. You have your range, how far this car can travel. On the left I have my headlight fog light things. EV ready is basically when your car is ready to drive. On the right hand side it'll alert me of my headlight situation and on my left hand side are the wipers and basically the speed of the wipers. This is your indicator settings. And then if that is your driver's display we're then gonna move on to your center console display and it has wireless apple carplay and android auto already connected my phone see no wires <laughs> and you can play music you can use google maps too it's a pretty responsive touchscreen so if i search for Bhat Patini from the Toyota showroom. It's pretty responsive. I've muted it. And then you can also go back to your center console home screen. You have a radio on the center console. You can also connect your USB iPod via the USB-A port here. And then you have vehicle information, outside temperature, water temperature, inside, the tilt angle, the altitude, that's pretty cool, and a compass here. And then in terms of trip, you have your average speed, time, cruising range, your kilometer per liter. And then this is, if you're driving, how much efficient your motor battery pack is. And so you have this as your home layout. When you press it, you have a malfunction display. 
it's basically an alert for your notifications notification settings how you want your maintenance reminders here you can set it up this is pretty cool because sometimes you can forget things assign favorite button so you have a favorite button that down here can be assigned to either radio bluetooth vehicle information i'll do bluetooth for now then coming down you have your apple carplay android auto settings which the volume can be guidance changed. will be provided at this vol guidance will be provided at this volume it's a new feature that cars have that can basically alter the volume for different settings in the car operation sounds so if you want that beep sound on and off I will turn that off again. Voice recognition settings are here too. It will be notified and displayed here. You have actually a very long list of voice command settings from displaying cruising range, alarms, meter information, alarm explanation, air conditioning, a whole list. This is very compl complex. Like if you think about it, it's usually just open the window, close the window. Bluetooth settings too can be changed here. Your phone settings, and then you have other quick settings that can be toggled here. It's just a very easy interface while you are on the wheel. Then you have touch sensitivity here. Just how sensitive you want this touch screen followed by a reminder to remember your phone when you leave it'll show a quick display saying please take your phone camera settings are down here whether you want them on or not the corners clock settings can be here time and date settings here language settings it looks like your voice can be either in english i think this is thai Basa, which is Indonesian and Malayu. So you have like one, two, three, four settings that can be recognized by this car. And I feel like that should be the same for the languages as well. That can be displayed. Let's not mess with those settings. <laughs> Ambient illumination settings. Oh, so you can actually change these settings, which color you want. I'm in a bright setting, but the ambient lighting is down here basically. So it's like a blue light down there and then i will go to a yellow light down there if you can see it and then i'll go to a red light down there <laughs> pretty cool and then you have your security settings and you have your initialized settings uh you do not want to go back to factory default your version settings I will blur this for safety reasons and your copyright information basically your service <clears throat> serial numbers and others and that concludes my overview of the center console on the yaris cross so if you have any comments or questions just drop them down below and see you on the next video